Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your school community and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a course in the school software? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a course for your school community anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're making money online by creating a community in school, you know that some of the draws to bringing people into your community are offering courses for free. And sometimes you can even offer courses as an upsell to your student. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your school community. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my school account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and create a course in your school community, what you're going to do first off here on the top menu, you're going to see these three options. You want to click on classroom. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to see this button here called new course, go ahead and click on there. Okay guys. So here is where you can go ahead and create a course. Now, the nice thing about school is you have a lot of different options when you're putting together a course inside this school community. So I'm going to give you a brief rundown on all the different features on creating a course inside school. So first off, you want to go ahead and name your course. So for example, we'll just do cooking internationally. Okay. And then here you can go ahead and write the description of the course. So this one, you want to go ahead and make it kind of descriptive and then also make sure it's completely related to your course because who wants to buy a course based off the description, but then when you get inside, it doesn't really contain the information that you promised. So let me go ahead and just type in something small here. Okay. So I went ahead and typed in a quick description. Now this next part is pretty important. So here you want to go ahead and choose who's going to get access to your course. So you can leave it open. So all members that are already a part of your school community can go ahead and access this course. If you have levels set up in your school community, you can go ahead and unlock the course, depending on which level that person is at. So maybe level seven, level one here, you can go ahead and put a price on it. So if somebody's already a member of your school group, they can pay an additional price of let's say $50 to enter the course here. You can go ahead and allow your members to unlock the course after seven days or after 10 days or after two days of joining your school community. And then you can also make it private. So with this, this is going to be invitation only. So for the purpose of this video, I'll go ahead and put a buy now and let's make it $500 here. You can go ahead and add a cover. So just click on upload. Okay. I'm uploading an image and you can go ahead and zoom in, kind of edit the image. If you want to do that, make sure it's within the white box and then click on save. Okay. So now our course inside our school community has a cover, a price, a course name and a description. So we're going to go ahead and click on add. Okay. So here's where we can go ahead and start building out our course inside of school. Okay. So first off, you can go ahead and design and lay out your course inside school, how you want. So by default, you're going to see this page right here, but if you click here next to the name of your course, these three dots, you can go ahead and add a folder so you can group a number of pages together. And then you can also add another page right here. So now we have two pages. So on the first page right here, it's in orange. So we can go ahead and edit this by clicking the pencil. Okay. Now we can go ahead and name this. I usually name them as chapters. So again, this is going to be a cooking internationally course. So maybe this one is about Chinese food. All right. And then we're going to click on save and then we'll click over here to the new page and then we'll do the same thing. So maybe this one's going to be about Mexican food, right? And save. Okay. So now that we have these pages named, we can go into them by clicking on the pencil and we can go ahead and just start designing the course. So this is about as simple as designing a Facebook page. So we'll just click enter. I'll add a bar and then enter, enter, and I'll start adding in H2 text. Here is how to cook great and spicy Chinese food. And then maybe I'll add an image. So I'll click right down here, click here. Okay. I inserted an image. Okay. And then right below it, maybe I can go ahead and name off ingredients, garlic, soy sauce, chilies, oyster sauce. Okay. And then to make it look nice, I'll usually just grab all those and then make it into bullet point. And then maybe we want to go ahead and add a video in. So we'll go to enter, enter, and then we'll click right here on this little play button. And then we can grab a link for our YouTube video. So let me grab a video from my YouTube channel. Okay. So here I am on my YouTube channel. So I'll just look for this little share button and I'll grab a URL and I'll go back here and I'll paste it in to add a video and then click on add. Okay. Now you can see it added in a video from my YouTube channel. Okay. Maybe we want to go ahead and add in a source file. So we'll click on add and then we're going to add a resource file. Okay. Now it's uploading a PDF. Okay. Here is a PDF to cook Chinese food. All right. I'm going to click on add. All right. Now you can see I added in a PDF. So that looks pretty good for the first chapter. And then we're just going to click on save. Okay. So now my Chinese food section is done. And then I would just move on to my Mexican food section. Okay. So now if we're going to have a lot of different sections, so maybe Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food, American food, it's going to be kind of cluttered. So you can go ahead and create your course into folders. So what you do right here is click on these three dots 
and then we're going to add a folder. And then maybe we're going to go ahead and make this folder as spicy food. Okay. And then we're going to click on add because okay, so now we have a folder. So Mexican food would fall into spicy and maybe Chinese food would as well. So we can easily just add in this section into a folder. So I'll click here and then we'll click change folder. And then we're going to choose the spicy food folder and then click on save. All right. Now you can see our spicy food folder has our Mexican food in there. And we can do the same thing for our Chinese food. Open this menu up by the three dots, change folder, and then choose spicy food and save. All right. So now we just have one folder with the spicy food and maybe we'll have another folder that is going to be vegetarian food. Okay. So in order for these to be active, you want to go ahead and click into the section and then click on this little green mark. Okay. So that section is done and then we'll do Chinese food as well. Once that one's built out, make sure you click on the green section is done. And now you can see my course is completed based off of the pages that I added in together. And let me click on classroom. Okay. So now once we go into the classroom, we can see that our course that we built inside of school is now ready. So we can go ahead and start adding in other courses if we wish to do so. Now, if you forgot something inside of your course in school, don't worry, you can go back in and edit. So just hover over the course and then click on these three dots and then click on edit course, or you can even delete it if you want to do that, but I'll edit. And now you can see we can go ahead and maybe change the course name, cooking internationally fast. And then maybe we can even change the price around. So maybe we want to go ahead and offer a discount and we're going to drop it down to $300. And then also you can unpublish the course if it's only available for a certain time and then click on save. So there you have it guys. That's a quick rundown on how you can create a course inside of your school community. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.